Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer DeBona and I do business as That CAD Girl. That CAD Girl is a charter member of the original Carlson College and we provide training and support for Carlson Software, AutoCAD, and IntelliCAD. Thank you for watching. So for this video, I'm using Carlson 2020 with IntelliCAD and I want to show you how to convert drawings that have civil 3D entities in them for use in Carlson software. So I want to start off by opening this DWG file that was created from civil 3D. Um, it includes some point data and some surface data. So if we open that up in any program that isn't the software that it was created from, um, other programs don't recognize the surface or the point data. And so it, um, since it doesn't know how to display those, it displays them as what we call proxy objects. So the surface is displayed as one big square. Um, and then all these points are displayed as proxy objects with little squares. If you zoom in close enough, you can actually see that this represents a point. If we list that, it'll tell us here that it's a proxy entity. It tells us what it was created from um, and what type of entity it is. And if we zoom in on one of the corners of the surface proxy object, you can see the same thing. So I'm going to show you a few different ways um, that are a few different places in the program that you can go to convert this for use. So um, under points, if you want to go specifically to the types of entities that you have, you can go under points. Everybody has this menu in every program. Under convert point format, you can see here that there is a specific command to convert land desktop or civil 3D entities to Carlson points. And then if you go to the surface menu, so not all programs have a surface menu, um, but if you have it, you can go straight to import export surface data and you can see similar command here for surfaces. Now, under the file menu, which is again is a menu that everybody has in every program, in the past few versions, um, or a few versions ago I should say, Carlson collected everything that they can import from Civil 3D here under the file menu. Uh, you can see just a few of them here and I believe it pretty much does everything even if it's not listed. But you could do points or center lines directly from here or you can just do all custom objects. So immediately on scanning it finds that there are there is point data so it's asking me for a Carlson CRD file in order to save the point data. CRD file is Carlson's point database and so it continues extracting it draws the points that it found in the drawing and then it also found the surface it gives me a chance to save it as a TIN file so that is Carlson's surface model file and that's all it found. So it has created those data files, a CRD file and a TIN file in this case, and then it's drawn them in the drawing using current settings. So I can view those. So if I look under points and list points, this will display all the points in the CRD file. Okay, and then I can also look at my 3D surface viewer to see the surface. So there's the surface and I can see the data here. And then like I said, it just drew everything in the drawing using current settings. Um, if I don't like those, the entities can just be erased from the drawing. And then I can go and draw them with field, redraw them with field to finish or draw locate. Um, if I want to, you know, set up new display properties. I can do that. Um, and then under surface, I can contour from that TIN file. Select the TIN file and then look under my contour tab to see what settings I've got. And so I can draw those in. 
So hopefully you found this video helpful and that it saves you a few picks and clicks. Thanks for watching.